I had a new piece of dental floss sitting on the sink this morning, and now it's gone. Who took it? Uh, did you try looking... Under the rug? Yes. In the garbage? Yes. In Kevin's diary? Uh, no. I haven't looked there yet. <clears throat> You're awfully quiet, Mitchell. Yes, Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Pilot Man, Mr. Mr. Hey, look at me, I'm a pilot man person! Temper, temper, Captain. Temper? Temper? Tell me, Mitchell, did you hide my floss to be funny? Does that amuse you? Tell me where it is! Hmm. Well, yes, yes, very good then, Mitchell. My apologies, of course. Next time, though, you might want to do that before I go berserko. I'll do my best, Captain. You know how I hate to look silly. Let's sing a little song with eight little words about a rocket ship and flightless birds. <laughs> Kevin. Three, two, one. Captain's blog. Start eight eighty eight point B slash eleven D twelve. Mission accomplished. With Jason and Michelle's help, we have just completed a dangerous mission, helping the peanut butter people out of a jam. It was a sticky situation, but we prevailed. <sighs> I'm ready to get back to Grandmom's. I'd like a nice cup of cocoa before bed. You'll be back in no time, mates. I got my flipper to the metal. Suppose we have time to drop by the Comet Lounge for some ice cream? After all, it's Thursday. The space free ship comes by on Thursdays? Calling Comet Lounge. Come in, Saul. Ah, good day, Captain Zigil. What can I do for you today? Hi, Saul. We need some ice cream to go. Ow! Oh, hey! Vigil! Yes? Ah, 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 temper, temper. Remember my floss incident? Besides, do we really know that that toenail came from Vigil? Well, who else could it have come from? Still, mustn't accuse before you have all the facts. Well, the captain's right, Mitchell. Like the good book says, those who have knowledge use words with restraint, and those who have understanding are even tempered. Now, that means the more you know, the less you get angry. That's good. Anger just makes you lose control, and you end up accusing others wrongly. He talks like Grandmom. I suppose you're right, Captain. Sorry I got angry, Fidge. Penguins! Come in, penguins! Admiral Strap, sir! Uh, who's that? That's Admiral Strap, our commander at Federation HQ. I have another mission for you, penguins. A mission? Always at the ready, sir. Baron von Cavitus has been spotted in this sector. Cavitus? There's no time to lose. We should hide. Uh, I think he wants us to capture him. Oh, right. What about us? Are we gonna help? Way too dangerous, kids. It's straight home to Grandmom's for you. Right. Jason and Michelle Conrad. I've heard a lot about you. Thanks for helping to keep the galaxy safe. Sorry, kids. Looks like we'll have to skip the ice cream this trip. Drat! You sure? That's all right. We really want to get back to Grandmom's anyway. Well, until next time, cadets. Goodbye, mates. Goodbye! Oh, no! What happened? What happened? Can't you see? The thing's broken! How? Hmm, 
corn syrup, soy lecithin, and titanium dioxide, if I'm not very much mistaken, a construct otherwise known as... Puppy Chubby Bubblegum! Oh, no! It was you! You must have spit it out when the Gleasel pulled us in. I wasn't the only one with Hubby Chubby. You were chewing it, too. I swallowed mine. Well, I didn't do it. You must have done it. I didn't do it. You did. No, you did. Uh-uh. Temper, temper. Here we go. Accusing each other again. Remember what old Saul told us? Not smart without all the facts. Well, the fact is, we aren't going to be able to get back to Grandmom's, and it's all Michelle's fault. Can you fix it, Virgil? Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's not, uh, well, uh, I can try. Try? Oh, no. We're going to stay the size? I'm only as big as my little finger. Can you make it work again? This is what makes it work. The metric magnetic matter disperser. The only one in existence, as far as I know. Without this, the Galeasel is useless. I fear the bubblegum has burnt it out. Can't we get another one? Who made this magnetic micro metal thing anyway? His name was Bert Bertman. He was my assistant long ago at the Academy. Smart lad. Big teeth. But I have no idea where to find him. Hey, maybe Sol at the Comet Lounge knows where he is. Sol knows everyone. Then off we go to the Comet Lounge. Looks like ice cream is back on the menu. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> spicy freeze. What about our mission in Ad Cavitus? I'll alert the Admiral. We'll just have to look for Cavitus later. No rush on hunting down a supervillain. <laughs> spicy freeze. So, kids? Frozen treats sound good? I just want to go home. And until we're back, I'm not speaking to you. Well, I'm not speaking to you either. I mean, Captain, kindly tell my brother I'm not speaking to him. Uh, Jason? I heard. Fine by me. Then it's settled. We're off to find Bert Bertman and enjoy a frozen Larry Berry on the way. First Officer Mitchell, make it so. Aye, aye, Captain. Professor, looking for a little refreshment? Oh, yes. I have a hankering for Grape Palooza. Oh, no. Cavitus. Ah, oh, look at all the travelers awaiting the arrival of the celebrated Space Defreeze ship. Ooh, me lucky, Spicy Freeze, Larry Berry God. Yes, I'm rather partial to the radioactive raspberry myself. Your dark overlord is in need of refreshment. Parallel Park! <laughs> oh, get as angry as you want. I am Cavitus, evil overlord and the bane of your miserable, insignificant lives. The hamster! It's oh, hamster oh, time oh, again! Oh, 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 <laughs> but, uh, Master, why ambush it? Why not just wait in line like everybody else? Once more, my low wattage friend, we capture the space defreeze and blame it on somebody else. That will make everyone angry. Soon they will start blaming each other, giving us free reign to take over the galaxy. <gasps> Master, it's the penguins on their way here to the Comet Lounge. Oh, those preposterous penguins have met me at every turn. How did they know we were here? Ah, no matter. I won't let them ruin my fun today. Not that! Uh, 
Intercept the rock hopper and distract those penguins. Make them lose control. You know what to do. I don't need to fight my flippered foes when I can get them to fight themselves. <laughs> That's my greatest weapon of all. <laughs> Work every day on my biceps. Don't worry about getting a tan. I dance a small jig with my triceps. It's great being a man. Uh, penguin. I love to go ride in a fast car and eat pork and beans from the can. I wish I could think of something like that. Fast car. It's great being a man. Fast car. Fast. Or fast star, last jar, plastic star, Madagascar! <laughs> something, 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 Madagascar! It's great being a man! Penguin! Yes, smashing. All right, Kevin, now try this. It's an aerosol meat spray for easy sandwich making. It comes in chicken, beef, or savory shrimp flavors. Uh, Jason, Michelle, would you like a sandwich? No, I just want Grandma's cocoa. I thought you weren't talking to me. I wasn't talking to you, you... Gleasel breaker. I didn't break it, you did. Your gum must have come out when you were screaming like a baby. Screaming like a baby? Yes, you always scream like a baby when Gleaseled into the ship. Kevin! You've been into my shampoo again! Calm down, Captain. Calm down. Calm down. Listen to me. Ridiculous proportion shampoo is shampoo. Do you hear me? Shampoo! But you always use it as a body wash. A body wash! Do you know how much body you have to wash? Now wait just a minute, Captain. Didn't you say earlier that we shouldn't be too quick to accuse each other? <laughs> Doc! Doc! What have you done to my poster? I, I just needed something to protect the table. Do you know how much this is worth? It was from the last tour of the Boomerangatans! Well, if you wouldn't leave your quarters in such a mess, how am I to know what's rare and what's rubbish? Doug! I mean, it's, it's, it's so not delicious! Nice going, Michelle! What? Now you're blaming me for this? We wouldn't even be here if you hadn't broken the glacial! A glorious one! The rock hopper has steered off course! Excellent! Most excellent! <laughs> Not a moment too soon! Tasty breeze is fun to eat! This will be a day long remembered. I, the great and terrible Cavitus, will now rule the galaxy. Attack! Great ice pop! Hello? Is anyone there? 911! SOS! Help! What are you thinking, Cavitus? How would you like it if I treated your stuff that way? Like this! That's it! Next time you can stay by yourself at Grandma's!
The pop on the new ship is here. Is anyone there? It's on last! Help! Nobody wastes quality hair products on my watch, mister. Hey, what's this? A unique combination of citrus, jasmine, and cedar oils. I'd know that scent anywhere. My shampoo! My apologies, Kevin. It was this little Imptron that did the deed. Okay. Hey, what is it? A netbot, if I'm not very much mistaken. From its markings, I deduce that it belongs to none other than the Dark Lord Cavitus. Cavitus! Cavitus! Cavitus? Cavitus? He did all this. The shampoo, the poster. He wanted us to fight and accuse each other. But why? Hey, look! What's that flashing? The space debris ship! It's come under attack! By Cavitus! What do we do? Here, my leafy friend. Guard him well. We have to hide now. I mean, we have work to do. Why don't we just think things through before accusing each other? Saul was right. Our anger made us lose control and get way off course. But now we're back on track on our mission to capture Baron Von Cavitus. Penguins, to your hiding places. I mean, station. Breeze is fun to eat. It makes each day a special treat. After veggies and a meat, have a space to freeze. <laughs> what? What happened? Hey, I stopped by this master. Uh, is it safe? Game over, Cavitus. You! Yes, me! Well, it's us, actually. Let's see, there's one, two... There's six of us. Seven, if you count the plant. No! No! <laughs> yes! Yes, Cavitus! You'll never rob the good people of Sector 12 of their delicious space tea treats. And now we're gonna reel you in! You've wreaked your last havoc! Those penguins! Those penguins! Oh, it's oh, after tough. Oh, no, 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 I wanna hold them. No! Come on! We need to escape! We've broken free! Hurry! Before they hook us again! Mark my words, oh penguins. I will return to retrieve my disperser. Another day. Hurry! Shoot the thingy at Cavitus' ship before he gets away! Thingy? It's technical commander speak, Midgel. You wouldn't understand. Huh? Look! It's a metric magnetic matter disperser! Cavitus is getting away. No matter. Our first job is fixing the galizel for Jason and Michelle. True, true. Why confront a dangerous foe when you can let him go? And have Grandmum's cocoa. Huh. How did Cavitus get that metric uh, thingy? Stole it from Bert Bertman, most likely. Well, but this is in perfect condition. You're going home, children. But first, we have a date with some frozen confections. <laughs> Well, what can we say? Thanks again, guys. Not a problem, Sol. We would have been here a lot sooner, but Cavitus's gnatbot had us at each other's throats. Here, Fidge, have a frozen pumpkin sickle as a peace offering. Oh. Ow. I've learned my lesson, too, and I'm certainly glad to see you two are speaking again. He got crazy there for a minute, didn't it? You know, I guess I could have lost my gun when the Galizel pulled us in. No, might have been me. Anyway, 
I don't think either of us can really know for sure. Either way, I'm sorry I blamed you and got so angry. Me too, Jason. Oh, Thal, I was meaning to ask you, do you know whatever happened to my old assistant, Bert Bertman? Bert Bertman. Hmm, Bert Bertman. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Inventor, nice kid, big teeth. Don't have a clue what happened to that little hamster. Hamster? Oh, yes. I didn't mention that to you before. Bert was my pet hamster. <laughs> yes, he was very ambitious. Well, children, ready to go home? You bet! Oh, well, you're a smashing paper boy. I'm not saying otherwise. But you didn't deliver my paper this morning. Well, where is it then? I did look, young man. I did. Oh, my! Wherever did you find it, Pumpkins? Under the picnic table, Grandmom. Why, thank you. That's... Oh, dear. What's the matter? I accused the paper boy of not delivering it. Oh, I feel just horrible. Saul told us the good book says, those who have knowledge use words with restraint, and those who have understanding are even-tempered. That means the more you know, the less you get angry. So? Just a friend of ours. Well, he's a very wise friend indeed. Now, why don't you two kumquats go get ready for bed whilst I call the paper boy and apologise? Thank you for this exciting, wonderful day. And for new friends and good ice cream. And thank you, God, for two very wise young children who taught their grandmum an important lesson. Amen. Amen. Amen.